So, what's up, buddies? Um, a new consideration in this case, a new variation of the hippopotamus scratch technique invention of the world famous DJ Qbert. And when we consider the goal of the hippopotamus is to produce five sounds by playing two record motions. So, in the forward and then in the uh, backward direction. So, if we produce. Um, 10 sound actually yeah so um, how it functions it is possible by playing the first record motion in combination with the one click flare performance to produce two sounds and then the other record motion incorporates the two click flare performance to produce three sounds so and exactly the same crossfader sequence I use right now as a now following variation but it's uh, a little bit different the record motion is different and we see at first the slow motion performance and then I start my explanation <laughs> So what I do is I play noted tones or I play baby scratcher and I incorporate the one click flare performance at first and then the two click flare performance okay and uh, it's the same it's the same consideration because I also produce five sounds at every sequence yeah but I working now with a forward backward motion instead of playing only a note or only an, a forward motion so we see the twice as fast performance <laughs> once again so and when you play it twice as fast it sounds dope i think so, okay, now the secret of this variation is the record motion. And the record motion is actually really simple. That means only moving the record forward and backward like a baby scratch. In the S notation we say this is a noted tone. The connection of a note with a E tone in direct succession. This is here the symbolistic. Okay. And it goes like this. So, and now we incorporate the crossfader sequence. And this is, like I said at the beginning, uh, at first a one click and then a two click flare. And we see here the notational breakdown of the first half of the entire performance. And that means at first we close and then we open for the one clicker and then closing transformer click and opening for the two clicker so makes in summit five sounds which we produce okay we start with our first note the start positioning on the fader is open and we play the first note and close the fader like this then we play a e tone and we open Okay, now we got the one clicker finished. The first we have produced two sounds and now we go to the next note. And now it's important that we cut the next note like the beginning of the original flare to produce two sounds. That means the fader is still open. Now. Yeah, we move the record forward and we incorporate closing plus the transformer click to produce two sounds at the second note. So now we move the record back to the start point and we open. So and this is basically the same performance like the original flare but we don't pull the record back twice as fast. We move it in the same duration back as we played the note. So the preceding sound, okay? So now is the fader still open? And we go basically in the one clicker performance by playing the note 
and the e-tone like this closing opening and now the same with the two click flare performance that means we play a note produce two sounds by closing and transformer click like this and then remove it back okay and this is yeah this is the variation one of the hippopotamus when you play it twice as fast we can see the video once again it sounds absolutely dope as always yeah okay so i hope you got it we can uh, look at the reverse pattern we see here the same performance on the crossfader one click then two click flare performance one click flare performance two click flare performance and we incorporate ito noten okay so reverse baby scratches that means our start positioning is we are here at the vinyl with the hand faders open and now our first movement is a backward we close then a note and we open then we play a E tone but we cut it twice by first closing then transform a click and then we move the record forward to the start point and now we got the half we got the half of the hippopotamus variation one pattern and we can repeat all the sequence okay so I hope you got it. Um, it's an interesting consideration, I think. And yeah, bye bye.